Well, I think it's time we get this old girl washed up before we hit the road. Let's get the truck done, maybe the front of the trailer. This is an actual truck wash at AC&T in Hagerstown, which I'll explain here once I'm done with this. But my time's running. But she's a little cleaner. Look at that price. The good news is, is with mud flap, it's uh, $3.95, if that's good, I guess. But we were able to get the truck washed for about 10 bucks. Just got it sprayed off. Had a bunch of salt on it from, uh, uh, where did we go? We went to Ohio last week. I think the last week on Friday. So we got all the salt off. Uh, just gonna put our um, placards on and uh, grab some dinner and head south. And if you're looking to save money on fuel, I'll put my mud flap code in the description. If you're signed up already, um, you may already be, but I think it gives you uh, 10 free dollars of fuel and gives me 10 free dollars every time somebody signs up. So if you don't have it, get it. Um, it's very easy to use. All you do is take your phone in. When you're on the app, make sure that you, if the station you're at uses mud flap, um, you have to swipe, you have to put all in your information like because it just takes the money off of like your debit card or credit card and you swipe to get a code, you walk into the fuel desk, show them the code, they start to pump and uh, it just charges your card but it gives you that discount so you don't have to spend the money and then get the money back, it gives you the discount right away. So we're just getting fuel and uh, dinner and we're headed to Georgia. You know what's funny about this truck stop? I remember coming here with my dad when I was little We'd plow snow right up the road here at a distribution center. And we'd come here because they always have hot, they got hot food, they got a market. Got shake fried chicken and stuff like that. We always used to come here. I remember watching, and I always text my dad about it. I remember watching a Super Bowl here. It was the Titans and the Rams, and it was that goal line stop uh, right at the end of the game or whatever. I remember watching it here, and I still remember that to this day. And I think that was early 2000s. That that actually happened. All right, so I'm sitting here waiting to get fuel. It's crazy how big of a fuel line there is. It, I mean, it's 8.30, it's not that late, but there's no parking in this place. It's just all jammed up because, I mean, every, every pump's got one person pulled ahead and then two people behind it all the way across, so. Anyways, I just had to make a video on my main channel, which I want to kind of elaborate on more in this one. So if you didn't see it, go check it out. I'm just talking that I people need to respect my privacy and, and just stop call, cold calling me, you know, asking for advice about hotshot people I don't know, people that get my, you know, my number off Facebook or whatever. And they, they just call me during the day and expect me to be able to answer the, all these questions for them about how to get started. Now, I talked to a few people about this. And, you know, there's a few guys that I keep in touch with in the hotshot community that I've met. And we bounce ideas off of each other and things like that. But I consider those people my friends and they know who they are. Because if they were to text me right now, I'd text back. But... I can't fathom the, like, just think about what people are doing. You're, you're looking somebody's phone number up and you're giving them a call and you're, you're expecting, you know, information. I put out a ton of free information, obviously on YouTube. If, if that's not enough information for you, you, you can join my Patreon for a small fee. Time is money. I will help you as much as I can. What I do is personalize and the guys that I talk to, you know, they, you know, ask questions about the area they live in and their equipment and this and that. And we have conversations, but there's ways to go about it. You wouldn't just like call up a doctor's office and be like, hey, I want to talk to the head doctor and figure out how I can become a surgeon too. You just wouldn't do that. So just respect my privacy and, you know, go about things in the right way. If you want information, Know, be willing to either pay for it or, or go through all my my videos on my main channel and there's tons there's years of information on there that could help you you know establish or, or answer your questions 
That's a pretty truck. Alright, well, good morning. It's, uh... I don't know. My watch is dead. I'm on my phone. I think it's about 8.30, 9 o'clock. We're at TA in... I want to say this is Commerce, Georgia. Uh, we're about an hour away from our delivery. Of this escape, and then uh, about 45 minute drive over to Madison, Georgia to pick up our hot load that goes back to Hagerstown, Maryland. So, uh, making a pretty good time. Just waiting to hear back from the customer that's accepting this uh, about where he wants to unload it. I think it runs and drives. I was able to start it when I loaded it, but uh, when I look up the address that I'm delivering to on the map, it's like some old rundown shop I don't know what it was but uh, I don't know if that's a car sales place now or or what but I'm just waiting to hear back from him and uh, should be good for the rest of the day it's getting a little warm out here might have to shed the sweatshirt put some shorts on now sometimes you just got to pick up a truck paper and see what's for sale there are all kinds of stuff for sale in here I need to find me a trailer for the Freightliner. Only if prices weren't through the roof on everything right now. It'd be worth buying something right now. I'm so fed up of this COVID bullshit with lobbies being closed. Like, I can't even get a McDonald's Coke right now because the lobby's closed. So, what we'll do is we'll just take the trailer through the drive-thru. Okay, not only is the lobby not open, they don't even have Coke products. All I wanted was a large Coke. I mean, this looks like a good place to drop a car. Looks like it fits in. Got Donnie's Country cooking here. Trash. Yeah, that'll do. That sign says, Sorry, we are on vacation. It must be one long ass vacation. You know, I get asked why I have my concealed carry permit and I carry all the time. Have you seen the places I drop cars at? Drop cars off at? I mean, it's sketchy sometimes. That's a nice little pond down there, but that's nice. Well, we made it to our pickup. If you're looking for box truck stuff, which I am, guess you're in the right spot. Nice, big boy wheels. All right, this is what we drove all the way to Georgia for. This is a pain in the butt. This is roof for a, uh, like a box van. I was in an accident. So we've got dunnage up front here. Then we've got this box smashed against it. And as you can see, that's all it does, which is fine. And then we've got two 26 foot rails, which I've got uh, dunnage underneath, all the way across where the straps are. And then there's a bunch of miscellaneous, miscellaneous parts in there. They wrapped that up nice and neat for me. Uh, but I think all together this weighs about 350 uh, pounds or so. So, easy peasy. We'll get good fuel mileage on the way home. And uh, this is the second time I stopped to check and nothing's moved. So I'm pretty happy with that. I was a little worried with the flimsiness of these rails. But that's why I put blocks every less than every 10 foot. And uh, it's, um, they're not moving. I was worried that they would move on each other because there's two rails there. And uh, I tried to uh, belly wrap them. But what that did was I didn't allow them to like sit together tight enough. Um, like they wanted down pressure, not side to side. And the way I've got this box here, they're not moving anywhere. So I'm pretty happy with that. That 
Just stopped to check here. It's nice and warm in Georgia. I cannot complain at all. But guess we'll uh, guess we'll get back on the road, find some fuel, find some late lunch, get home tonight. I'll tell you, they are out today. I've seen at least 20 DOT officers with people pulled over on the side of the road, not counting in weight stations in the last four hours. I knew they said there was going to be like a mini blitz or something for the first to the third, but um, the crazy thing is, is I haven't seen one of the trucks pulled over today. It, none of them have been a hot shot. They've all been tractor trailers, so. I don't know what exactly, I didn't really look into it too much to see what they're looking for. Uh, if there's something in particular they're looking for, I know they do like, where the hammer like breaks hard, or paperwork hard, or tires, like the or suspension, they're always trying to like, you know, narrow down one thing and really hit that hard when they do these blitz, but I haven't seen one single hot shot pulled over yet. And there's number 31 for the day.